important issue is uh, access to justice and making it available to uh, the ordinary consumers and members of the public, and that's where technology can be helpful. Looking forward, there's going to be an increasing need for partners and senior associates at some of these big law firms to not necessarily become data scientists, but to become conversant with these new technologies. So we are collaborating on the competition on legal information extraction and entertainment called Coli. We learn about how to take um, legal information and cluster it so that it expedites the identification of relevant information, like in the case law. So um, we try to accelerate the job of lawyers by having them be more accurate in less time. I think this conference held to set aside the question of whether technology will replace legal professionals to focus on the fundamental questions of how does the technology work, what are the possible biases and the potential uses and misuses of the technology and demystify the idea that this will replace actually legal reasoning and legal professionals as such. The methods that we are using boil down to uh, advanced uh, machine learning, deep learning, for uh, documents, text uh, mining and NLP, including also graph mining. So the use of these methods um, can contribute uh, to understand how courts decide, how judges decide, um, how lawyers take strategic decisions, but also improve the decision-making process of all legal professionals. Well, I think this was a really excellent conference because it's brought together different disciplinary perspective. You can see in the panel sometimes a total confusion between uh, different languages that the different disciplines speak, but also it brings together the industry, academics, um, uh, lawyers, uh, and I think it has been a very, very interesting experience for many of those that participated. <laughs>